Omaha's Family of Blue is mourning the loss of the canine officer Cobus. The community looking for ways to help the officers who work with police dogs and help the dogs themselves. To explain how you can get involved, Jim Hansen Jr. He works with the First Responders Foundation. Good to see you, Jim. Welcome nice back. Again. Uh, thanks for yep. swinging by. You know, I, I think so many people were touched uh, and, and saddened by this story. You know, there's mm -hmm. uh, these canine uh, dogs are just they're they're like people they're like uh, parts of the family Absolutely. members for a lot of these officers. What exactly happened with Cobus? Well, uh, the, you know that Cobus did his job. Um, he went in with uh, with his trainer or with his handler uh, and a number of other police. Um, you know this this was what 26 hours. I mean they've tried everything, and it was you just were talking an, about the standoff. The standoff, mm -hmm. yeah, and it was just one of those things that. Uh, a bad situation happened, and you know he was doing his job. So yeah, the officers went in. Uh, Cobus went in with the officers, and yes. um, the the guy apparently Just started shooting. Started shooting, and and Cobus took a bullet. Yep, yep, and did what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was eight years on the job. Mm -hmm. uh, was supposed to be retiring in the next couple months. Mm -hmm. They, uh, uh, Officer McKinney, already has his replacement. They've been training. Mm -hmm training his replacement mm -hmm. so fortunately that part works but it's just a terrible loss. The, yeah. the loyalty is it's difficult to explain isn't it? Mm -hmm. What um, the service from from Cobus to be with the department for that long and when you look at pictures of him I mean he's just so darn uh, cute and yeah. the look on his I mean he must yeah. have had personality. Yeah if anybody's we've been to a lot of events where they do demonstrations uh -huh. and you know the dogs are just playing and doing whatever and then when they're when they're on, they're on. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's one of those things. But we have a great community that's that's supporting and Aww. providing yeah, some just assistance. Your heart. It's, it, yeah, and you guys are leading this fund. Why did you start uh, this fund for Cobus? You know, it, it, it's similar. It's 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 not that much different than Carrie's causes, which we did. Um, you know, this is this is a officer and an officer family that's been hurt, and you know, Omaha community can support them. Uh, a lot of the funds that go to the canine are provided by public funds. Mm -hmm. um, so for additional training, for additional supplies, mm -hmm. the, the budget is such that um, they are constantly looking for funds to help them do a job better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're, you're saying tax dollars, for example, don't go. Right. Or like it's not, that stuff isn't automatically rolled into the department's budget every year where they say, well, we'd like to do this right. for the canine department coming up. You rely on the support from right. our the viewers additional, and Right, the additional mm -hmm. training. Uh, if you look at it, I mean, the, the officer's salaries and those type of things yeah. are obviously taken yeah. care of. But I mean, they're family members. They, yeah. they have doctor's appointments. They have a lot of things that end up getting taken care of by the public. Yeah, and so you have this fund. What's the response been so far from the it's, public? It's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, um, you know, it's obviously on a different scale than what Carrie's Causes was. But um, we are, uh, animal people are, and I mean this in the best way possible, mm -hmm. are crazy. They love their animals. I mean, You're when right. I see that picture of Cobus, I think of the the dogs that I've had in my past that that have uh, I've had to put to sleep because mm -hmm. of health issues or whatever, and you know it just tugs at your heartstring. Mm -hmm. It does. And that's your family member, but with these dogs, you are working with them every day, and mm -hmm. you see them in that light, and then mm -hmm. they come home, and you see them interacting with your kids or with family. I mean, you are never without them. Right. Um, and then you have a traumatic event like this to yep. change that dynamic. And it's very times, difficult. Yeah, you know, exactly. Co Cobus may have saved some officers' lives, because many times those dogs will go in, attract yes. the attention of, um, of a suspect. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe that's what happened here. And fortunately, an officer did not get hurt in this sense. Well, and, and as, as the press conference the other day with uh, Sergeant Woolery, um, he mentioned that he probably did save lives because, and has in the past. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And it's sad to say, but, you know, if, um, you're putting an officer down uh, a canine, but you could you could have been putting an officer down. Absolutely. If I think about the first time you were here, it might have been for Support Blue, mm -hmm. um, and, and we're all familiar with that campaign. Are you connecting it back to this fund with COBUS? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The first responders does have a a, um, a fund set up through our foundation. Uh, but it is. It's just support blue canine. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is no difference, really. Hey, while you're here, I'm thinking, too, about uh, the fire this morning. I know mm -hmm. um, you 
work with our uh, men and women mm -hmm. at the police department, but also firefighters. Absolutely. And we had two firefighters, I believe, right, two that were injured this injured. morning. Mm -hmm. um, is there is there anything that I've as heard public we can do? I've heard it's life threatening. Yeah, right. I think one of them has been released from the hospital yeah. so far. But, uh, but yeah, I know you've had a tough you couple a, weeks too. Yeah, I mean, with Ems Pub. Um, Bernie Kanger is doing an absolutely fantastic job. I think he took a really good position and, uh, and position on Ems Pub and everything that happened there as well. Yep. And now another round this morning, as Mike said, another long-standing business in the city affected mm -hmm. by fire. Absolutely. If you are interested in supporting uh, this memorial fund for Cobus, we showed you that information a little bit ago. There's also a website. It's firstresponders.omaha.org. Um, and then slash canine Cobus. If you're trying to get to these details online, you're welcome to go to the site. We'll link back to it on our site too. Doing a lot of good things uh, yeah, for first thank responders. You. Yeah, thanks a lot. And I know you have a thank golf you. tournament. We uh, do. In the summer that we're I'm going to make get sure you year. get to it this year. Right. Uh, I like to golf. Better that yeah. than evening gowns, as you yeah. were just trying yeah. to make a move earlier. <laughs> So there is a memorial that um, they're putting together for Thursday. Great. Details will come out Let us from know. the police department. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, like we said.